everyone. Whoops, I have my mic all messed up. Give me one second. All right, we're back. I got my mic, kind of, I don't know. Ugh, I don't know why things are so difficult today. Anyway, how's it going? Um, impromptu live, I got a CGC return back. So there are, I think, 34 cards in this return. So we'll be going through all 34 cards. As you can see, these are still sealed. I haven't even opened them up and looked at them. So, uh, yeah. So we're going to get into this. We got these two small boxes. Then we got a big box to get into last. The two small boxes, uh, I'm assuming, I, I don't know for sure, obviously, because I haven't looked at them, but I'm assuming one is going to be my... Uh, what's it called standard or whatever um card which will be um in one of them i'm assuming and then the other one should be my error cards um and then the other box should be just the regular bulk submission that i did let me pull it up on facebook so i can see the chat uh, looks like we might have a couple people in here already Let me know what's up um, when you get in here. Say hey so I can know who um, I'm chit-chatting with tonight. Appreciate y'all tuning in as always. Um, so I think I got everything pulled up. So I did go live a touch early. So I'm going to um, give everyone a couple of minutes to, to get in here. Um, another announcement. I don't know where I put them. Here they are. Um, I did get in the... Uh, Scarlet Violet uh, EX uh, special uh, sets. So you get five Scarlet, five Violet, and a promo pack. So 11 packs. These are 50 if anyone's looking to get these ripped or shipped. Um, so let's get it rolling. Yeah, man, James. Got a lot of stuff. Uh, 34 cards to get into. I guess we'll go ahead and get it. So this one feels heavier than this one. So I'm assuming this one's going to be the uh, just the, the standard or whatever level that is i forget what it's called the the one of like the one tier faster than uh, bulk i think this is just going to be the one card um, this is the obviously i couldn't send this card in because it exceeded the bulk value so this will card um, some people know what this card is i did pull this card actually myself on the on a live so you've been tuned into all the lives um, and you think of any big cards like super big cards that I pulled lately you will know what card this is so let's see am I still taped up no nope. all right we're getting it all right so yep this is my um, whatever tier this was called um, so we'll get out this one right there we'll put this box off to the side we won't need it for now all right, what's up, James? So here's the first card. Um, we're gonna do them one box at a time. Um, as you can see, I'm zoomed out a little bit on my camera, so I'm gonna have to hold it up. So this is my Lugia Alternate Art V from Paradigm Trigger. This is the Japanese Lugia V Alt Art, and I was lucky enough to get it in a tin, the pristine tin, not the perfect, but we got the Lugia V Alt Art in the tin so that is my biggest hitter by far um, super happy um, for that card uh, I was hoping I, I, you know obviously we're always hoping for tens but I was hoping that was gonna be my first perfect I thought it was a perfect candidate but um, those are extremely hard to get um, so I, I've never gotten one actually um, and to my knowledge there are none in this order either but we will see um, this should be the air cards. Um, so, okay, maybe I opened this one wrong. Uh, I feel like I opened this one. Oh, no, maybe I got to open it up one more. There's one more flap to get. There we go. All right, now we're cooking with some grease. There we go. All right, one more. All right, so these should be the air cards. I believe there are six air cards here for us to get into. So it looks like this is the back of them. So we'll pull them out one at a time. So um, there is one card in here that was submitted by a um, one of my one of my people. So uh, Tyler, if you're in here, Tyler, let me know. Um, 
So Tyler has a very, very cool uh, air card that we will get to see that I'm excited to see um, how it came out. I've never actually graded air cards before. Um, so uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we can see, um, it, I guess they label it on the back and I, I don't know if it says just air on the front or what. What's up, Tyler? So um, your card will be here, Tyler. So here we go. Um, first up, we, this is a, a minor miscut. Um, as you can see, um, lots of lots of blue blue on the bottom, like an ocean down there. And the ditto. Okay, yeah, so this is a Pogo ditto. Um, I got a nine on it, so that's nice. Um, I really wish I had paid for the subgrades on these just to see um, what they were looking like. But uh, we see black, black dots down there. Um, so I got a Pogo Ditto 9, uh, it says minor miscut, so I don't know if they say major miscut, if there's a different one or what. Um, so we got a minor miscut 9 on that Ditto. So this is twisted miscut, so as you can see it's tilted um, that way, obviously super janky on the back. 7.5 on the Purloin from the Legendary Collection, uh, the Radiant Collection. Uh, uh, Radiant Collection, I said Legendary Collection, Radiant Collection from Legendary Treasures. So this slab feels like super heavy. I don't know if they, they did something different to it, but this slab just feels heavy. I don't know. So I got a 7.5 on that. It just it says air, um, nothing on the front, uh, near mint plus, but uh, twisted miscut. So we got a minor miscut, now a twisted miscut. So if anyone knows any, anybody looking for miscuts or anything, let me know. I got a couple. Uh, so this is a twisted miscut again. This is going to be um, similar to that, as you can see. And the Stunfisk. Okay, so we got my old Stunfisk. Uh, gold star, gold Lugia V-Star. Heck yeah, man. That's what's up, dude. Love the Lo uh, Lugia V-Star gold. That's a very good looking card. How's it going, Dakota? Um, I'm doing good. How are you? Hope everyone else is doing good. Hope everyone's having a good week so far on a Tuesday. I think it's, it's Tuesday, right? Y'all correct me. Uh, we had uh, daylight savings time. Um, so uh, my, my week's been off. So that was a seven. I don't know if I said that. So once again, Radiant Collection uh, from Legendary Treasures. All right. So here is a partial crimp. So um, I guess there's different types of crimps. Um, I don't know what they are, but partial crimp. My Growlithe and an eight. There we go. Got the air Growlithe from, once again, the Radiant Collection from Legendary Treasures. We got a little crimping. We crimping up in here. So uh, these are hollow, by the way. It's kind of hard to see it, but I'm trying to catch the hollow pattern on it a little bit. But how much is that Lugia? I don't have a clue, man. Um, not a clue at all. Um. So here we go. We have another minor miscut. So this is going to be similar to that ditto. That, that's not on the actual card, that white stuff that's from the packaging. Um, if y'all see some white dust on the card, that's from little, I guess, slivers of paper or whatever. So minor miscut. Boom! That 8.5. I think that's been with the highest so far, right? No, we had a 9 on the ditto. So 8.5. Um, this is the uh, Black Star promo out of the Lugia, no, sorry, Lugia, Lucario. V Star Premium Collection. So we do have the black dot down here partially. Um, so 8.5 on that one. So if anyone knows any Lugia, Lugia Miscut fans, let me know. All right, so this is your card, Tyler. So process of elimination. So as you see, it says misaligned texture. It is a little subtle. Um, I did not see it at first. Um, so I will try to catch it and show people what's up uh, in the light. So we do have a misaligned texture, and it is eight on the charizard gx black star promo from the charizard gx premium collection what's up steven how's it going man so um this one so the texture does not line up with the actual card um i noticed it best down here i forget where tyler said that he he saw it the most um let me see yeah, it's kind of hard to see. Um, we'll see if we can focus in close enough. But if you look, so we have the two uh, retreat costs, and then you can kind of see they have the swirl pattern um, coming into the top of that. So the, the pattern is essentially shifted down the texture on the card. Um, so this is a hard one to see. 
um, but it is definitely there. You can kind of see it right here at the bottom of him. You can see like a little line there where the texture doesn't align up with the line of his belly. Um, so that's another decent place to see it. And then you can kind of see it there as well um, off the tail. So this is a misaligned texture. Um, some of these are easier to spot than others, but beautiful card and an eight. Tyler, thank you for allowing me to handle your card and send it off for grading. I appreciate that. Okay, now for the big box. Um, 655? Heck yeah. I'll take 655 on a Lugia. All right, so here's the big box. I'm going to show it in the face cam. Um, it's not really going to fit on frame all that much, but I am going to open this up really quick. Um, I might, I'm probably going to set it on the floor and pull cards out, and we'll look at them as we go. Um, it's just a... a it's a pretty pretty nice size box. Oh, it looks like it's a box in a box. So um, so we got a, we got another box in here, as y'all can see. So nicely packaged. Kudos to CGC on their shipping and packaging. There we go. All right. So here's our box of cards. Um, we'll see this real quick. Boom. All right. We have tape anywhere else. It does not look like we have tape anywhere else. So just one little piece of tape there. So I am going to we'll slide it over here. Um, hopefully nothing gets knocked off or anything. Whoops. Knocked something off the backside. So there we go. Um, fold that out like that. Take the little piece of all right, so there's plenty of room. All right, so we'll we'll just we'll pull them out one at a time, and we'll go like that. All right, so first up, um, there's gonna be a lot of Japanese, English, etc. In this one, so here we go. We got the Japanese. Um, I don't I don't have any clue to what order these are in, so we'll we'll be finding out as we go. And boom, Underground Expedition. I just picked this card up in a trade from actually Dakota. Uh, so we got the nine five. From Champions Road, this is uh, Champions Road. If y'all don't know what set that is, um, it's like in a white box um, from Japan. It has, I think, like Scyther and maybe Feraligator and stuff like that on it. Um, very uncommon box to see, but this is one of the bigger hits out of there. So we got the 9-5 on the Underground Expedition in Japanese. Y'all know I love me some Japanese. Um, oh, another announcement. Since I got some people in here, uh, after this video or this live, um, I will be posting a community buy sell trade post in the group. Um, a lot of these cards will go on it. Um, and so if you have stuff, um, get them ready, um, get your pictures, everything together. Um, say I, I posted some rules, um, you know, keep yourself safe. Um, you know, ask for more pictures if you need it. If you need help, questions or anything, you have myself, uh, Dakota's a moderator. Um, James uh, is another good one to ask for, for help if you have any questions about condition or what to put in your post or anything. But, you know, prices, we're not doing auctions, we're not doing bidding up stuff, we're not doing uh, waffles or anything like that. This is buy, sell, trade. Um, so feel free to haggle in the comments and trade with people, make offers if people are open to offers. So, um, but yeah so uh timestamps um you know there's that's pretty much you know standard rules if you've sold it in any other group but here we go on to card number two from the bulk submission another japanese lady in the pristine tin from lost abyss i pulled this on a stream maybe a couple of weeks ago i think maybe two weeks ago i pulled the old lady my old lady so that's a big one um definitely glad that card came back in the tin. All right, we'll make some piles. Uh, we'll make a tin pile. We got a nine five pile. Um, bro, it got so basically a three hundred dollar slab. Is that the underground expedition? I assume Dakota. All right. So two waifus. All right. So here we go. Um, English. The so first English card out of the bulk. And boom, Zardy boy V Max. So this one, um, this was a toss-up. I thought it looked pretty good. Um, I should have subgraded this card just to see. Um, I'm not a big Charizard fan, so this will be going up in that post. So if you're looking to pick up a Charizard VMAX, let me know. 
Um, I got you, right, Chell? So that's a nine. So we got nine, five, nines, tens. Let's see comments. If any of these are evolution alts in a nine, I'd be interested. I've slowly getting the whole set. Okay. I don't think I have any of those. I could surprise myself. Um, we both made a great deal, fam. Hey, man. Yeah, so if y'all ever looking to trade or anything, Dakota, he's a local to Tuscaloosa. So y'all hit him up. Um, he gets product from me from time to time to, to sell locally. So if you're ever looking for anything, let me know. All right, another Japanese. It is. Boom. Elisa's sparkle in the pristine tin. Another waifu in my tins. So there we go. I pulled this one on. Did I pull this one on stream? Uh, this is V-Star Universe. Uh, I did pull this card myself. I think I pulled all these cards for the most part myself. Um, so I don't remember if I opened this one on stream or not, but I did pull this one. Um, sometimes I get bored and just open stuff. So there we go. All right. Next up. Uh, another Japanese. If y'all notice the pattern here, uh, most of my cards, most of my collection is Japanese. So that's what we're going to see a lot of. It is... The 10 in the Charizard V-Star. I did pull this off stream. Uh, I was actually on FaceTime with one of my buddies, um, and he did see me pull it. Um, but I did open up a V-Star box off stream. I was very bored that day. Um, just had the itch to rip something, so I busted into this, pulled this card, um, and for shiggles, I sent it off for grading. And as you can see, we got the 10 on a Charizard V-Star. Um, the SAR version from V Star Universe. So another Zardy boy, as y'all know, I'm not a sh I'm not a fire lizard fan, as Dakota would say. So here we go, English. We're back on the English. Let's see. Ooh, hoo -hoo. Pika Pika in the tin. So I I think I pulled this one off stream too. Uh, I had some Lost Origins packs laying around. Uh, they'd been sitting there a while. Um, I just decided to to bust through them. Um, see if I could pull something lucky. Um, obviously, I did. Um, I got the, the gold Pika in the 10. I don't know pop report on this. I don't know uh, what a 10 is going for. I think this is only like a 10 or $15 card. Um, I could be wrong on that, but I don't think this card's very expensive. Um, I don't know what the 10 helps it out any, but Trainer Gallery, Lost Origins, Pika in the 10. If there's any Pika fans out there, let me know. I'm not a Pika fan. Need the matching Mewtwo. Dude, I haven't seen the dang gum. Mewtwo. I want it so bad. I want that Mewtwo so bad, dude. Back on the Japanese. Back back to my my, my heart. Y'all already know who it is. It's the Raikou V with the pristine 10 SAR from V-Star Universe. Y'all know I love my legendary dogs. Uh, Raikou actually is my second favorite. First favorite, Suicune. So I love all three of them. They're, they're all three favorites of mine, but it goes uh, Suicune, Raikou, Entei. Um, I love the art on this, the little lightning bolts. It almost looks like, you know, the flash um, with, the, with the backgrounds are blurred and whatnot, but got me another 10. Um, love to see it. I love 10s. I have the set of both, but it's English. Oh, <laughs> unfortunately, yeah, man. Uh yeah, I'm looking for that Japanese. They're only like, I think like 40 bucks, 45 bucks on on eBay right now. I've debated on uh, talking to some of my contacts over there, see if they can pick me up a couple of good copies, but we'll see. Uh, another Japanese. We got, ooh, okay, Galarian Articuno. This is just a regular AR. Um, I love the coloring on this card. Uh, the, the, I don't know if that's just the foil pattern or the color or what, but this is just a beautiful scene to me. Um, I'm original OG uh, bird fan. The, the new ones are all right. Um, I do, you know, this one's purple. You know, you got a lot of purple Pokemon. Uh, so we got the 9.5 on it. Um, not bad. I might try to get me a little 9.5 collection of those um, to keep the, the wallet a little padded. Um, don't want to drain the wallet on those regular ARs. Um, SARs, you know, they're box hits. So here we go. Another Japanese. Uh, this one looks a little off-centered from the back. We'll see... No, <laughs> another Fire Lizard, Charizard, V-Star in the Pristine Tin. This was Starbirth. I believe I pulled this one on stream, like, I think it was late last year, if I'm not mistaken. 
Um, I pulled open the box at the beginning of the stream and got me a little, little Zardy boy. Um, I don't know. We always know Charizards tend to be a little less expensive on the Japanese side. Um, but uh, Rainbow Zard in the tin. Love it, love it, love it. Love to see tins in general. Um, that 9.5 to 10 is crazy. So here's one. I've got an old back. Old back Japanese. Um, I, there's a, there's some vintage in here. So if you're a vintage guy, um, there, there's some good vintage in here. Um, stuff that I liked. We have uh, my boy Suicune in the 7.5. This is Awakening Legends. This is one of the Neo sets. Um, what are we call it Neo in English. Um, this is called Awakening Legends. Um, I was hoping for a touch higher grade. Obviously, it is a little off-centered left to right. Um, but... I did get my Suicune V75. Uh, this will be a PC piece. You will not see this card up for sale unless you want to offer me like a million dollars, then it's yours. Um, so 7.5, we'll just kind of put anything under a nine over here. Um, and well, we've seen that stuff. We'll, we'll move my Lugia down here. We'll move that there to camera. And then we'll move this stack over. Boom, bang, boom. Now we can see them a little better. Um, so. Uh, here we go another card up we got another old back um that's not on the card so we'll see got a little vintage action we got ooh, sabrina's alakazam okay so there are two different versions of this if you don't know um so this one if you notice down here it does not have a rarity symbol it doesn't say it on it so i don't think it has on the back either yeah so this is the no no rarity symbol one so this one came out of a uh a deck the Yamabuki City Gym Deck is what this one came out of. There is one that you can pack that does have the little star down there. Um, I don't know which one is technically more valuable. I don't know if there is a price difference, but the 7.5 and the Alakazam, if y'all do not know, this is another a Pokemon that I collect. I collect Suicunes, I collect Alakazams, I collect Blastoise, and I collect Mews. So those are my, my main four. I do a little Mewtwo here and there, but it's mainly Mew. Um, so this is another PC piece. Um, so another 7.5 to add to my PC collection. Love it, love it, love it. Man, they feeling them 7.5s almost seem standardizing for vintage. Yes, I have noticed that. Uh, 7.5, it's, it's hard to, to get above 7.5 on vintage, uh, even on clean vintage. Um, you know, you can see like some 8s and 9s here and there, but that 7.5 does seem to be a sweet spot. Uh, best offer, 100K. <laughs> Yours if you want it, my friend. Um, so here we go, another another uh, Japanese. This is back to modern stuff. So, oh, this is this is vintage. Wait, did they they change the backs that early? So this is the uh, the EX. I thought I thought EX still had old back. My bad. All right, so this is the Cloister uh, foil um, E series stuff. Don't see this stuff often. I thought this was uh, E series was still old back. My apologies. Um, so this is first edition uh, Cloister. From, this is a uh, based expansion, so EX base. Um, so yeah, uh, there we go. 9.5, um, I'll take that for sure. Um, and a 9.5, I don't know anything value-wise on that. I just thought it was a cool card. Looks super clean, first edition, E-series stuff. Don't see it often. Um, so I thought I had to send it off. And clearly, that was a good decision. So, uh, another more modern stuff. I do have a couple other E-Series cards in here. This could be one of them. It is 8.5 on my Polyrath. Okay. Um, a little Polyrath, a little beach scene. A uh, cool little uh, foil pattern on it. Um, so, there we go. Um, first dead as well. Um, foil and an 8.5. Um, I'll take it. That goes on the far right stack. Anything below a 9 goes there. Can't beat Hollow E-Reader. I know, right? All right, we got some more old back stuff here. I don't even remember what I sent in. And it was like, I don't know if I told you all this or not, but this was literally less than a week turnaround. They received it on like the 8th or, or 7th or 8th, and they shipped it back to me on like the 9th or 10th. Like, it was like a three-day turnaround. It was absolutely insane. I don't know what happened or why it was graded so fast. Let me know if you've graded anything through CGC on whether you have been having crazy fast turnaround times. But uh, this one was less than a week turnaround. Ask uh, Tyler if you don't believe me. All right, so here we go. Old back. Vaporeon from Jungle. 
All right, got me some little Vaporeon action in the 8.5. Hell yeah. Little, little OG on the Evolutions. So, little 8.5 jungle. Not first head, regular. But everyone loves some Evolutions. All righty. Some other old backs. Uh, we got Dragon Knight in a 9. Vintage in the 9. I'll take it. This is from the fossil, the mysteries of the fossil. We just have it called fossil over in, uh, on the English side of things. It's a little nine, no swirls. It doesn't look like, maybe, maybe you could kind of count that as a swirl, but I'm going to say no swirls on it, but a nine. Yes. Let's go on the Dragonite. Hopefully that has a little bit of value. I'm not a Dragonite collector. All right. Another one. It is my other one in a nine as well. Let's go. Once again, I don't see any crazy swirls or anything on it, but another nine, mint nine, Dragonite from Fossil. So two chained on that. Next up, some more modern stuff, maybe E series. I don't remember what else. Oh, yes, I did send in my Mew um, that I got from the promo packs. Um, this was the 25th anniversary promo pack, our classic collection. Um, so 25th anniversary promo pack number 14. This was from Mirage Forest is where this art was originally released in. The 9.5, I was hoping for a 10 because it's a Mew. Um, but obviously, this will be staying in my personal collection. 9.5 Mew, let's go. All right, still got a good bit to get through. Or say a good bit, maybe maybe eight to ten more to get into. All right, another old bat, I mean, uh, modern Japanese. My Gyarados in the ten. Okay, I did not know my Gyarados got a ten. So this is once again twenty fifth anniversary promo pack. Uh, originally came out in Rocket Gang Team Rocket. Um, so um, I this is one of my favorite arts from that set. I'm not really sure why, but the Dark Gyarados. Um, in a tin. So that's going to be another PC piece. Um, if y'all don't know, Team Rocket is the one set that I do collect. Um, I love Team Rocket. All right. Modern English or new English, or I guess, no. Yeah, I guess all English. I don't know. Anyway. Ooh, ADP statue. Okay. So this is one that I wasn't sure whether to send in or not. It is a little off centered top to bottom, but, um, I, I, Rolled the dice. Um, I don't know if a 9.5 increases its value any from Raw, but I got the 9.5 ADP statue from Cosmic Eclipse. Boom. That probably will go up for sale. Another English. Boom. Okay. So the I did. I have three Sylveons in here. Um, I'm not really uh, going to hang on to any of them. So 8.5, a little, little less than what I wanted. Um, I would love to have had subgrades on this 8.5 actually looking at it because this one looked very well centered to me. Um, I didn't see any scratches on it or anything. That's just, that's not on the card. So that was something on the, on the, the case. Um, but it looks very clean. I'm not sure what the 8.5 is. Maybe there was a scratch I didn't see in the hollow or something. But uh, corners looked good on it and everything. So... Oh, well, it happens. 8.5 on the Sylveon V. That will probably go up for sale as well. So I probably know what these next two are just from the way that I put the submission in. This is Sylveon V from Evolving Skies in the 9.5. So I do have some uh, Avolutions in here, alt arts. Um, this is the actual alt art of Sylveon V in the bakery shop. 9.5 Sylveon V in English. That one probably will go up for sale as well. So I know what this card is. Another English card. It is also Sylveon V. This is in a nine. So I don't know if you need this one or not, Stephen. But I got you a nine um, Sylveon V alt art. So I forgot about that I did send those off. I'm not a huge Sylveon fan. But another English. It is Mew. My little Mew. Um, this is actually from my childhood personal collection. Um, so we got my Mew Hollow um, Black Star promo number nine. This is got this at Pokemon League um, at the old local books a million. So got them at eight, obviously PC piece. Um, now it's encapsulated forever. So I can remember Mew got a cool little swirl there in the top. So Mew from my childhood. I'll check, but I may have that. All right. Awesome, man. No worries. All right. So another English. I couldn't tell you. Oh, yes, let's go, Mew, 
VMAX uh, in the English side. So I have this card in Japanese and on 10 as well. And now I've got the double banger. I've got it in English and Japanese. I pulled this card myself. I think it was out of one of those crazy air boxes that I opened from Lost Origins. So uh, this is going to be a huge uh, PC display piece. So this is this is a very 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 good win, personal win for myself. Oh, nine goes there. Uh, so next up, let's see. Uh, English, we got the Entei V from Crown Zenith. I pulled this one, 9.5. Um, it's a beautiful card there. Um, I love the Volcano. That was such a good, uh, good, good concept. Um, this card looks beautiful. Um, probably going to hang on to it for a minute, um, but uh, I would love it in Japanese. So 9.5 Entei V. All right, I think I know what this one is, just based off of how I submitted them. Oh, excuse me, I burped. And my Raikou V. So my Raikou V, um, not as good as my English. My English got a 10, my, my Japanese got a 10. English is in the 9.5. It is a little off-centered left or right. I was hoping to have the pair on these and try to get a double, uh, either all 9.5s, all 9s, all 10s um, of the 6. But obviously, that did not happen. Next up, last card. This is the last card of the submission. Um, so, uh, English card in and on English. Wish we were in and on Japanese, as y'all know. And boom. Inteleon VMAX. I pulled this one on a stream. Um, this is the alt art from Fusion. Um, I, this was another one of those board. I just cracked open some packs on stream one day and uh, got it in the 10. I was really hoping for this. Um, I don't track cards like this much. Um, I'm not a big alt art fan. Um, but this, because this to me one looks way too similar to the actual VMAX because he is like shooting his uh, water gun in an actual VMAX card, but whatever. Um, but this one just looks super, super good. Um, so I normally don't send cards like this off. But um, Inteleon VMAX from Fusion Strike in the 10. So let's count them up. Um, I think there's there's ten of them total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine in the regular bulk submission, and then of course Lugia V Alt Art Japanese ten for the tenth ten. So I almost averaged thirty percent on tens. Um, uh, that's if you count the six air cards, which you know you're not going to get a ten on an air card. Um, so we had six air cards. Um, beautiful uh, texture shift um, from Tyler in the eight. Um, I'll get that into the mail either the next couple, uh, either tomorrow or the next day. Um, so uh, yeah, so that was the submission. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed seeing that. I know I enjoyed seeing. All of these beautiful cards come back. Um, like I said, I'll be putting up a buy, sell, trade post in my Facebook group. If you're looking to um, you got anything you're looking to get rid of, um, good community. Um, all I ask is that ask if you have questions. Stay, keep yourself stay safe. You know, goods and services. Uh, tell people how much shipping is, et cetera, et cetera. We don't need any any drama. So. Um, that's all I have, unless anyone wants to pick something up real quick. Um, but that's all I had for this uh, CGC return. Um, I need an Ancient Mew promo from the movie. Yes, it reminds me of my childhood. Dude, I wish I could find some good copies of that myself. I get copies in from time to time, but they're usually beat up. You know, we would get them at the movie theater, stick them in our pocket, et cetera, et cetera. So um, those, those can be hard to find a good copy of, at least at a decent price. Um Let's see, gold 10 looks good on the Mew. Yes, that, that, that 10 does complement that gold Mew um, a lot. I do agree. Um, I'll have to do something cool with my uh, my CGC slab displays. I don't know if I might do that one in a gold. I might do it in a cool pink. I don't know. But uh, that one's going to look really good when I get it all, uh, when I get it all, uh, the, uh, the slab holder printed up. I got, you can see a couple right there, but I got green, gray right now. Um, how much does CGC charge for each submission? So it depends on the 
Um, the tier that you go through, the tier obviously um, will determine the max value of cards you can send through each tier, and it also determines the turnaround time. So essentially, the more you want to pay, the more expensive cards you can submit, and the quicker your turnaround time will be. Um, if you want to do the bulk submission, which is the cheapest, you must submit at least 25 cards. The max value is $250 per card. And uh, these came back like literally in three days. It was a three-day turnaround. It says 30 days on their website last I checked a couple days or a couple weeks ago or a week ago. Um, but so it's like 15 times 25 uh, plus shipping. You have to pay to and from shipping. Um, then I think the next tier up is like 25 bucks and you can go all the way up to like 150. Um, and then if you have stupid expensive stuff, it's like $150 plus like 1% of fair market value or something. If you go over like $10,000 uh, cards and stuff, but, uh, it's essentially $15 a card, um, plus shipping is kind of what it, uh, it, it negates down to. So. This was 34 cards. Um, one of them went in the standard method, and I paid uh, 640 bucks shipped to and from plus grading. So divide 640 by 34, and that's what the average was per card um, shipped uh, to and from. And like I said, it was like a week. To, I, I, I they received them and shipped them back within the same week. Um, so. Uh, appreciate everyone for, for hopping in, um, hanging out. Uh, so yeah, like I said, I'll, I'll be putting up a buy, sell, trade uh, post in my group. Um, Y'all be on the lookout for that if you're looking to uh, move anything. So lots of people always looking for different stuff. I know I always don't have what people are offering, um, but um, feel free to reach out if you need anything. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions or whatnot, but I will be getting that up. I will be getting some of this on there. So uh, if you saw anything, feel free to message me if you want to do a deal off the, the buy, sell, trade group or buy, sell, uh, trade post. But uh, appreciate y'all hanging out and I'll catch y'all.